G'day folks, welcome back to another episode of All Things Outdoors. Now, on a recent adventure, I used this little Catabat portable evaporative air conditioner to keep me cool while I was camping in the caravan overnight. That night, um, the temperature started about 30 degrees, so it was quite warm, and I used this little evaporative air conditioner to uh, position blowing air directly onto me while I slept. Now, that night I also used chilled water in it. Um, you actually have a little reservoir in the bottom here where you can fill up with water and it'll pump it through the, the curtain at the back there so that air passes through it and gets cooled uh, in the evaporative cooling process. So I thought, how effective are these little portable air conditioners and how much can it lower the temperature in a caravan or a tent? So today I'm actually gonna do the scientific process to work that out. Jacks, driving on the tracks, so much more. Come along with all things outdoors. Now I've got a run of about three days that are about a similar temperature so what I thought I would do firstly is do a control sample where I do one night to see what the temperature is like between the seven and nine o'clock mark when you're probably most likely to be in your caravan or getting ready to go to bed when it's um, the, the hottest I guess so I'm going to do a control sample tonight to see what the temperature is like without any cooling whatsoever then tomorrow night I'm going to do a, uh, a sample where I have the evaporative air conditioner running just with um, tap water in it that, that, that isn't chill. And then on the third night, I'm gonna do a test where I put chilled water in it to see how much it pulls down the temperature inside the caravan here to see if they actually do a good job. So let's get to it. later. Right, I've just finished the control experiment. I've recorded the temperature from 7 p.m. till 9 p.m. and we've only had a couple of degree variation of the temperature in here. It's still about 26, 27 degrees at the moment, so it's still quite warm, probably too warm for sleeping at the moment. So we're going to come back tomorrow night and we're going to be using the evaporative air conditioner with just tap water temperature water in there and see how it runs from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. With one slight variation, I'm actually gonna put a temperature sensor in where I would normally sleep in the bed to see uh, if there is a variation in temperature, particularly in the place where it's actually blowing air. And also I'll keep the temp sensor in the other spot in the caravan just to see what the ambient temperature is like in here. Okay, folks, we're back for night two of the portable evaporative cooler uh, experiment. So last night we did our control test with no cooling in here and we've got very little variation in temperature. So tonight's part of the, the experiment will be to put just regular temperature uh, tap water into the uh, cooler and uh, start it up and let it run for that uh, two hour period from 7 to 9 pm to see if it makes any change to the temperature in here. Now, what I'm going to do with the experiment though is I've got a temperature probe set up in the bed where I'd be sleeping and also a temperature probe running just out in the general area of the caravan to see if there's any sort of variation in in the temperature in various parts of the caravan. So let's get the cooler set up and get it running. later right so my hypothesis is kind of coming true I guess because I came down here at 9 o'clock and the temperature set on the bed was reading 20 degrees and the ambient one in the other end of the caravan was reading 23 so I kind of expected that the uh, one directly underneath the air conditioner was going to be a bit cooler than that one um, I thought it would be a, a bit cooler than what it actually turned out to be but um, Tomorrow night, we will try with the chilled water to see how much of a difference that makes. So, I'll see you tomorrow night. Right, folks, I'm back for the last night of the experiment. 
So tonight we are going to load up the air conditioner with chilled water that I've got from the fridge to see how much you can pull the temperature down in that two area period that we've got. So let's get it loaded up. So that's the end of our um, three uh, different experiments that we've conducted in this whole process. And um, what I've just uh, found from using the chilled water there is that it still only dropped the, the temperature in that location by the same amount as uh, what the non-chilled water did. So interesting. Although we did start from a higher base tonight, it was about 30 degrees tonight, whereas last night was only about 27, 28 degrees. So might have played a, a part of it. But the interesting thing is that the humidity actually went up, which may um, increase the discomfort factor being a bit more humid. So obviously, yeah, being an evaporative cooler, there's a lot of moisture involved there. So the humidity is going to go up. So um, probably didn't make a huge difference, which is interesting. I would have thought that the chilled water would have made a, a, a fairly sizable difference over the, the non-chilled water, but in terms of the the actual you know ability of this air conditioner to to comfortably cool a space like this not really um it's probably more of a personal cooler you've actually got to have it right beside you and directing the air straight onto you rather than actually being able to cool the whole space so probably not something that you would want to rely on to to, to cool a, a whole caravan or a tent now the evaporative coolers uh, may not work as well in more humid climates, so up in the northern parts of Australia, but down here in the, the southern parts where we have quite dry summers, they actually work quite effectively. We actually have one installed in our house, which is absolutely fantastic, we love it. But um, anyway, that's where we'll conclude the, the experiment here. As always, thanks guys for watching. Make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing, and we'll see you again on the next video. Thanks guys, see you later.